This lesson is on pivot tables and learning how to create one and master them in less than five minutes. A pivot table is a very powerful tool in Excel which helps you slice and dice data in many different ways to answer different questions and do quick data analysis. So in this example, I am going to use this, this sample data set which has order date, region, rep, item, unit sold, unit sales price, and total sales amount. So to create your pivot table, we're just going to start by highlighting the top of each one of these cells from A1 over to G1, our field headers. And then we could just hit Control Shift down to highlight our entire data set. You could also click and hold Shift and go to your last cell and highlight it all that way. Then what we're going to do is click Insert up at the top here, click Pivot Table. I want to get this little option box to come up here. Uh, this top field is just showing you what data we just selected. You could change this here if you missed a row or you want to include more. Uh, this section, second option here is just asking if you want to include this into a new sheet, a new tab here, or an existing worksheet, similar to this sheet that we're in now. If you do existing, you would click anywhere in here, and this will create your pivot table on this same sheet. For this example, we're just going to click New Worksheet, hit OK. It's going to populate our pivot table here in this box, and you will also get your pivot table fields over on the sides, side here. Now to create your pivot table, you want to drag and drop any of these options into these four boxes here. You have your filters, columns, rows, values. So to show you what each one is, rep, you could grab your rep or click on it and drag it down to rows and it's going to drop all your reps in the rows here. Now so we want to see how much each one of our reps sold. We could grab our sales amount, drag it down to our values, and it's going to add up all of their values from our data set and pair it to the rep. So for instance, Gil here, I'm just going to change this real quick into currency. So Gil here sold $1,749.87. And if we flip back to our data set and just filter on Gil, we could see he sold $1,749.87. It's the total of all of his sales are now filtered under Gil or pivoted under Gil. And same thing for each one of our reps. It's a total of all of their sales. So we want to look at units. We could just grab units here instead of sales value. Drop units here. It's popping up in dollars. So I'm just going to change that back real quick so we can see it as units. And we can see Gil sold 213 units. So if we flip back to our data set, and we just total up these. We can see Gil sold 213 units. So it's correct. And that's the basic level of pivot table. It's a quick way to slice and dice your data. Where this becomes really powerful is if we want to see a second layer of information. So each one of our reps are in a different region. So if we want to see kind of a matrix of how many units were sold by each region and by each rep, we could grab region, drop it in the columns here. And it's going to show you Gil sold 213 units in the north region. So it's got all of our regions across the top, all of our reps still in our rows here. And then it fills in the sum of their total units for each one of these areas. So in this data set, we only have one rep in each region. So their data is just going to populate in each one of their regions. But we could see here, Gil, he sold 213 units. He's selling in the north. Who else is selling in the north? Jardine is sold 281 units. And those were our top two performers of our total units for the north here, which are 1,199. All right, that's pivot tables in five minutes. I'm going to cut this video here and leave a link down at the bottom to our data set if you want to recreate what we did here. Uh, I am also going to be making a second video on advanced pivot tables. We're going to get into a little bit more detail on what you could do here and take it to the next level. Thanks for watching.